So this is my new um, kitchen mixer. It has a really nice dust cover with pockets to keep everything um, that comes with the mixer together. So I have one of the beaters in the side pocket. I have the manual. It comes with a spatula and another beater. Whoops, what did I drop on the floor? Oh, and it comes with an egg separator, which now needs to be washed. So that's all just in the dust cover. Take the dust cover off, and you have a splash guard on there, a dough hook. And this thing works really, really nice. Um, I'm going to open it. Well, hang on. First of all, let me plug it in. And when you plug it in and you've got it closed, because if it's open, this won't work, um, your light will flash, which basically is telling you that it's ready to go. As far as the speeds go, if you go to the left, it's basically pulsed. So you go to the left and it's on as long as you're holding it. When you release it, it goes off. And then to the right are the different speeds. So I'll show you how it works. So that's basically high speed pulse. And then as we go to the right, it goes for um, one level for each click. Slow. And it's got six speeds. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. So, I mean, it works well. I, I actually am going to, um, I've got some ripe, overripe bananas there. I'm going to make some banana bread and I'll show you it working. Um, it has this splash guard on it. And, okay, let me open this. To open it, you push the lever down. And I would support the top so it doesn't bounce. But just this one time, because I'm only working with one hand, I'm going to just open it this way and hope. There we go. So it doesn't really shoot up. The splash guard is on, held on with silicone uh, pads. There's like three of them around there. And you basically just pull it down to take it off or push it on to put it on. Whoops. But you've got to put it on evenly. And I'm working one hand again here. There we go. It's on nicely. One thing I like also about this is the fact that at the bottom, you just heard that, it's got suction pad feet. So it stops it from, from traveling when it's on high speed. Love the handle on the bowl. It's a decent sized bowl. The bowl sits in a niche. So that's held securely as well. So what I'm going to do, and you can't just push it down to close it either. You need to um, move the lever and then do it. So hold on a second while I do that. Okay, so as I said, I am going to make some banana bread and I will show you the machine actually working. It's a very nice machine and it's a decent size. So here we have some of my ingredients going. And I'm going to add my eggs now. And I want to turn that up some. Notice no splashing. Turn it up higher. To completely cream it all. And of course you can stop this, lift the lid, and um, use your spatula to wipe down the sides to make sure that everything is mixed in. I've made, I'm going to continue without reviewing, but I've made um, bread and I've made pizza dough with this so far. Both times it turned out perfectly. This is going to be my banana bread. Very, very nice machine. Love the way it works. Definitely worth the buy.